It's Janet from the Wilmette Public Library. If you're like me, you've been experiencing a lot of uncertainty lately. It's making me pretty uncomfortable. When will I go back to work? I don't know. Will my daughter go to summer camp? I don't know. Worst of all, there are questions like, will I get sick? Will someone I love get sick? I do look to state and local officials for guidance and also medical professionals, but let's face it, there are just a lot of unanswerable questions right now. I decided to turn to my old reliable magic eight ball for answers. You know, a magic eight ball, it's a plastic oversized pool ball. It's got an eight on it. You ask it a question usually a yes or no question, and you turn it upside down, and then you'll see in a little window with floating in blue water, a little die with answers on it. Like, yes, no, reply hazy, ask again later. There, answers. Then I realized that I left my magic eight ball in my office at work and I can't get into the building right now. What to do? I made my own magic eight ball. See, here it is. Let's ask it some questions. Will I get my hair cut by a professional soon? LOL, guess not. Does my dog want me to go back to work? No. Okay, he's happy. Here's how to get some answers using common household items. First, find yourself a die. The die in the original Magic 8 Ball has 20 sides. I knew I wasn't gonna find anything with 20 sides in my house, so I borrowed a building block from my daughter. Six sides, six answers, works for me. Make sure whatever your dye is um, floats in water. Um, make sure the sides are all even so that each side has an equal chance of showing up as the answer. You could use a die from a game. Just make sure it's big enough so that you can write the answers on it. You could also try cutting a die from foam. I have styrofoam here and another kind of packing foam here. I found it was a little bit hard to write on them and it was also a bit of a challenge to make sure that all the sides were even. Next, find yourself a jar. Here's my mason jar. Make sure it's big enough so that your die can turn around. See? After that, you'll need some paper, colored tape, a Sharpie or two, some clear tape, blue food coloring, a pencil, a used plastic bag, maybe a ruler, and possibly a hot glue gun or another kind of strong glue. Here we go. First, you'll wanna make your jar look like a black pool ball. I happen to have some duct tape that is black in my house and I cut it into strips to wind around my jar. So do that, trying to put it on smoothly, wind the strip around and repeat until the whole jar is covered. Okay, here's my jar. It's covered in black duct tape. I made sure to leave the bottom uncovered because that's where the answers are going to show up. Next, you'll want to make a label for the cover of the Magic 8 Ball. Trace the inside of the lid and then use your Sharpie to make a giant eight so everybody knows it's an eight ball. Cut 
cut out the circle, find the lid, and attach the label using your clear tape. Make sure the tape covers the whole label so that the label won't get wet. Great, now we've got a waterproof cover for our magic eight ball. Let's set it aside. Now let's get the die ready. There are a lot of ways to do this and this is just the way that I found was best. You might find another way that works for you. Here's what I did. I need to cover my die with paper. To do that, I'm going to trace the die four times. Then it'll be time to write the answers on the paper. The great thing about ma making your own magic eight ball is you get to make up the answers yourself. I'm going to make up some answers that are totally unambiguous, like yes and no and maybe a couple answers to fit the times. I cut out my strip of paper with answers written on it, and now it's time to wrap it around my die. Like this. You can secure it with your clear tape. Make sure you don't put extra tape on any of the sides because like I said earlier, you don't want it to be heavier on one side or another. See, there you go. You still have two sides that are blank. So I traced those last two sides and now I'm going to attach them to my die. I didn't want to double up on paper because again, I didn't want to make any of the sides heavier than the others. All right, so now the die is totally covered in paper and I've got six answers, which is six more answers than I had before. The next part gets a little fusty there are a lot of different ways to waterproof the die, but ultimately the way I found that worked the best um, was to cover the die in an old plastic bag. So cut it up and make sure that um, none of the sides have any holes in them. I'll show you what mine looked like. I cut two strips from the plastic bag and wound it around the die. It just happens to fit perfectly. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the paper and put one face here and another face here and then secure it with an even amount of tape. So now my die is covered in paper, a plastic bag, and clear tape. After I covered it with the plastic bag, I reinforced the edges with the clear tape so no water can get in at all. Now it is time to put the dye in the jar and fill it with water and add just a couple drops of blue food coloring. I'll be right back. functioning magic eight ball. The jar is filled with blue water. I left a little bit of space at the top. I think that space allows the die to turn a little bit better. The lid is screwed on tightly and I've got a cloth here to clean up any leaks. If you're worried about leaks or you have a leaky jar, you can use a hot glue gun or another kind of glue to seal the lid. I put hot glue around here and around here and that really keeps the water in. Magic 8-Ball, what do you have to tell me? Magic 8-Ball, will scientists find a vaccine soon? Never. 
Uh oh. Hmm. Magic eight ball. Will I get to see my relatives this summer? Curbside. Well, that's better than nothing. Okay, one more question for you, Magic Eight Ball. Magic Eight Ball, will my mask fall off my nose again at the jewel? Never. Great. That means I don't need to make a new mask. At least I got some answers. They may not have been the answers that I was looking for, but they were answers. And I got to make a new craft project. Goodbye uncertainty. Hello, Magic 8-Ball.